Yeah, this is the old style GPS, you know, not a GPS per se, but Lensiatic Marching Survival Compass. Compass. Actually, this is a made in China knockoff of, you know, the GI version, but it works fairly well. You can notice there's a ruler on the side to it, which comes in handy once in a while. Um, the deal is, though, with these cheap ones, you want to keep them away from metal, like I got it laying on a hood right here, and you want to tap the side of it with the finger because it won't return to north that well. You want to tap the side of it with your finger and then it'll go back to north. But what you got here is when you're looking through this uh, magnifying glass, you want to tilt this down so you're looking right at where the um, the pointer, and where the uh, degrees are, and then you're looking through that line right there at a point, say maybe 100 meters or 100 yards, I use like these are yards ahead of you, and you, you point out what the direction is. Now, what we used to do is we used to take like a map and you'd have a start point say it would be on this star right here and you would try to figure out um, a bunch of different directions but arrive back in just by using um, 100 yard or 200 yard point to point with the compass arrive right back at this point again so in other words you go 100 yards this way or 200 yards this way take a another heading and by you know by using the compass you would be able to go right back in a full circle and see how close you get to this point again if you know that's one of the things you really need to know more than anything is uh, how to do a back azimuth and not so much the, the declination whereby you know in degrees whereby the magnetism of the earth is affecting something because you know if you if you just say for instance you're heading off in direction basically north northeast you want to go back in a direction south southwest right um so you know that's basically you really you nearly know, really need to know it's a lot of times when you're reading a map if you're trying to get to a specific point on a map um you can use the uh you know the, the declination for the magnetic north but the other thing is you can orientate the map in a direction whereby you can figure out what the declination is. In other words, if you're looking at the map and it says north, and you're realizing you know what, what a point is on a, that you could see physically, which is really north, um, you could just use the map and you can figure the declination that way. If you actually see a point physically that is north of you, and you can pick that out on a map, you can figure out what your declination is without knowing it. So these things are pretty good. Um, you know, this has got like a thumb holder on it. And with this little magnifying glass, where you, you can really get down to the degrees perfectly, you know, which way it's, it's uh, you know, it's going. Um, in other words, you would turn this. In other words, say we're going this way. You would, you would put this on that, that line on the north, and then this line is where your direction is with the little magnifying glass right here see that and then you'd be looking you'd be looking through you know the magnifying glass on you know where the black circle is you were surrounded by the metal right and onto the compass itself onto this yellow line that gives you your degrees and then you'd be looking through this little slot just like a gun sight through this wire out forward to an object, whatever it's a tree, a rock, or whatever, you know? I don't know, it's something, I don't know, whatever it could be, right? Some kind of object. And sometimes it's good to have a can of paint with you, man, I'll tell you the truth. You know, <laughs> you, know so you might not have it, or, or have your axe or something where you can uh, chop a little notch into something or make a stick or something like that. That's the most accurate way to do it. If you really want to go balls to the wall, you really want to, you'd want to use a uh, long string that's yeah, about you know 100 feet long or something you can really map out a trail that way you get it down very accurately and then you can plot it on the map and you can say that's where it is without using GPS because GPS ain't gonna be around all the time man you know EMP is gonna happen right one of these days this is the way to do it this stupid thing works now of course you know if you go into the wild I know maybe it could happen someday but uh, you know 
I, that's why I was telling you about the declination, because the declination of magnetic north between true north and magnetic north is always changing. Yeah, you can pretty much figure it out as long as you already know an object that is true north from your point. You can figure it out very easily just with this compass. What the declination is, then figure it from there. Just it's just add and subtract, right? But um, these these things are dirt cheap. I got them on. Uh, usually they're on like CH Cadells from uh, Georgia. Um, this was like a two for one BOGO deal. Um, they're not really good ones, of course. I mean, they they even have better ones than this. They're made in China, man, handcrafted. <laughs> but it's not that bad but the thing is like I gotta tell you you gotta tap the side of it like this keep it straight up and down tap the side of it like that with your finger and keep it away from metal like this is copper that's not gonna matter right it's not steel but it's laying on a hood right now so you don't want to be laying on a hood or a car tap it with your finger and the, the north needle the magnetic the magnetic needle will float around because you turn it like that see how it's not turning you want to tap it's not going to work that well because it's sitting on a hood but if you shake it around a little bit see that see how it goes back that's what you want to be aware of you see how I turn it it's not turning that qu it's not turning real quick sometimes it doesn't turn that quick that's why I tap it a little bit usually it turns but then sometimes it don't just to make sure you tap it a little bit you're okay and again it's got the little markers on here for you know your standard map it's not bad I personally don't like stuff reading in meters I don't because I'm used to freaking yards and feet but whatever I mean I do know that there's you know uh, 1760 yards in a, a mile um, there's uh, 3 point 30, we see 39.34 inches in a meter there's 1.62 kilometers in a mile it's approximately uh, Approximately 40 clicks is going to be about 20, 25 miles. Um, one one mile is going to be about 0.62 clicks. I already I already know that type of stuff, but and I've converted them in my head with ease. But I still use uh, you know miles and yards and feet more than I use clicks. You know clicks is kind of still even though I was overseas and I was you know actually the Suzuki's from overseas, man. <laughs> That's where I got used to freaking using Suzuki uh, clicks. But I still prefer miles. Prefer miles. Don't like. I'm resisting the globalist my click, clicks bullshit. Anyway, <laughs> just a side note. But these things are damn good. Thing is, this thing, this thing's gonna function. Uh, you know, as long as you don't. Even though it's made in China, it's not the best thing in the world. As long as you don't smack it around really hard or nothing like that. This thing's gonna be working for you many, many years after your stupid GPS fails. You know what I mean? I mean, even if you have a GPS, for the price, like you can get a two for one deal on these. I think I forgot what they were. It was some dirt cheap price. I mean, it was like, I think it was like three dollars each or something on sale with this BOGO deal, like six bucks for two of them. I think that's what it was on CH Cadell's or Bud K or something. And, uh, but even if you don't use this as your main thing, you want to have it as a backup. How the hell do you know that GPS is going to work all the time? You know? How the, hell, how the hell do you know that? For sure. And even if you don't know how to use this exactly, um, I can tell you one thing. The really scariest thing is if you start getting lost in the woods at night, ooh, you screw up your direction all the way. I mean, you know, like at high noon, um, the, uh, the sun's setting and the sun is south, right? And actually, you can use a, a wristwatch like this. To figure out direction of the sun just by you know um, the, between the big hand and the little hand. As a matter of fact, if it's three o'clock, you know the sun's position is going to be about southwest, or maybe between southwest and south southwest. You know that right off the bat, so you got a general idea. But if it's at nighttime, you definitely need a compass, man. You're screwed. You're screwed unless you really know your stars and stuff, which I don't. <laughs> I mean, I could probably figure out the well. I could probably figure out the North Star, but then if it's cloudy, you're screwed there too, right? I remember sometimes when I was uh, lost in the jungle, like a kind of overextended myself. I was glad I had this thing. 
because it got me back to the dirt road that I had this Jeep, well, SJ, the Suzuki on. I don't call it a Jeep all the time. SJ's Suzuki Jeep, for actually that's what the Japanese Suzuki Corporation says SJ means. S Suzuki Jeep. I don't know, but SJ 413. But I was, I was, it was good enough for me to get back to the road to find out, and then I can just walk up the road maybe a quarter mile or something and find my vehicle, you know? If I didn't have this, I would have been screwed, man. I remember that a couple times. I kind of overextended myself because it got darker in a double canopy vegetation faster than I thought. I was kind of messing around over an NTA or CTA. I think it was an NTA, North Training Area. I was messing around, just kind of going on some hikes and crap like that on my own. And uh, could have been one of these <laughs> bitten by a habu snake or some shit and never found for the next three weeks, you know. <laughs> dead you know because a habu will kill you in like inside of 15 minutes worse than a rattler except they got little mouse or some crap just kind of going off on a tangent there but um anyway and you know this thing is not really perfect man i mean i noticed the friction on this thing you might have to hold your thumb in this thing and hold this bullshit thing up like that you see to get your thing but it works, man. It works. It works. For three bucks, that's about what I paid for. I think I paid two of these for six bucks. Um, no batteries. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, you know, you imagine having an electronic tool versus a, an old uh, freaking Irwin Peterson made in the USA vice grips before they were made in China. This thing's probably 30, 40 years old. You know what I mean? There's some stuff that's going to be around a long time. Every time I bought something electric, electronic, it was like, oh, it's so cool in the beginning. And it's a piece of crap inside of two or three years. That's about how I figure with GPS. Um, I don't even have GPS right now. And um, I might get one. But that that is always going with me. That's no doubt. No, 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 no brainer. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, over that.